Poultry and livestock keeping has been one of the biggest ideas that many have on their mind. But due to outbreak of diseases that affect them, they find it hard to keep them. Poultry, which has also been one way of income generation, has changed and made many of the youths in Kibera to engage themselves into small-scale livestock keeping. According to Charles Ogola, 24 years, he has been doing this for several years, and he has been able to earn a living through selling and hiring of his livestock. I normally deal with art, that is, keeping of rabbits, doves, ducks and chickens. When we started this, we were men, but now we are only four after some of our members dropped out of this project. Even though they dropped, we continued and ever since we have been doing this. Sicknesses and diseases are the biggest challenges that we are facing. Getting medicines to cure them is very hard and also getting money becomes a problem. I used to keep a lot of chickens but during the outbreak of their diseases they all died. And that's when I started keeping ducks. And since I started there is a big difference. The ducks can lay over 20 eggs and hatch all of them. And this motivates me. Kennedy Odor, who has also been keeping poultry for seven years, says poultry has been in their blood. And apart from that, it has also provided him shelter and also the clothing since he depends on no one. Through keeping of doves and ducks, I'm able to eat and clothe. And the same poultry has made me to be the person I am today. Rearing of birds has been an inborn and it started with my father. After then, I have been feeding birds and I like it, even though many do not like it. Despite the small the villages are, the residents are still able to keep poultry and any other life. I grew up watching a lot of birds around my surrounding. That's when I thought of keeping poultry. I started with chickens, but many of them kept on dying of diseases. And afterwards, the idea of duck came into my mind. Since I started keeping ducks, I have been able to sell them and use the money for my basic needs. And I like that because I can see some benefits. From their own views, they feel that people take rearing of birds as a childish act and dream of white-collar jobs. To them, this is not a difficult task since they don't spend a lot on feeding them. Sometimes, I do not have to look for food for them. Around the community, we have a lot of ditches where people throw trash and this provides a lot of food for them. So, when they are back in the evening, they are satisfied and I don't have to use money from my pocket. I'd like to advise anyone who is looking for something to do that rearing is something good and it needs determinations.
Ah, kazi nyingi. Hizi mabitu kana hazo, hawezi kosa kazi, hawezi kati. Apart from keeping this poultry, it is also another way of earning money. Sometimes when we have parties and ceremonies, the market is high. There are a lot of jobs to those who think that there are no jobs. Many keep on saying that there's no jobs, yet there's more ways of generating income. These are not my words. These are words from different people around this community. Wilfred Masia, reporting for Kibira TV, Nairobi.